Let's take a look back at our expectations for rookie cornerback Cyrus Jones before the draft. He was coming out of Alabama, ended up getting taken in the second round, 60th overall, with the Patriots' first draft pick and had pretty high expectations, especially on special teams. Scouting reports noted his speed and agility and athleticism as making him one of the top cornerbacks and punt returners in the draft. Why has his special teams skills not really panned out so far this season? That's a really good question. I think the Patriots certainly thought that they would. They really thrust him into that punt and kick return role early. But his issue really has been with ball security. He's been muffing a lot of punts. He's been making some poor decisions on kick returns. So once he gets the ball in his hand, he looks good, which is what everyone kind of saw before the draft. It's just getting the ball in his hand at this point, which is the issue. Well, now reports also noted that he is adept in man and zone coverage, but can be inconsistent as a defender. Why haven't the Patriots been able to improve his play on defense? Well, I think we are seeing a lot of the things that we did see from him at Alabama as being a little bit of an inconsistent cornerback. You'll let up big plays and then you'll go stretches of the game where he won't be targeted. So I think that's just something that they'll have to build upon. Uh, with him as he moves forward in the defense and if they're going to put less on his plate in special teams then maybe he will start to improve a little bit there as a defender and start allowing a little bit fewer of those big plays. Scouts also pointed out that at 5'10", 197, so almost 200 pounds, he doesn't exactly have ideal size for an outside corner which could force him into the slot in the NFL. Do you think changing his role would solve any problems? He has played a little bit outside and in the slot. I think that they are still kind of gearing him up there, maybe to be that potential slot cornerback in the future. I think that that might be his best role, maybe as a slot cornerback slash return specialist. Obviously, he will have to improve his special team's ability to take on that role. But I think eventually, with another season under his belt, he will start to start to improve in the slot a little bit. If you would agree that so far he hasn't quite lived up to his expectations, at what point would the Patriots give up on him? It certainly wouldn't be this season, but who knows? It could even be in training camp next year. If he continues to have issues catching punts and, and making poor decisions on kick returns, uh, if he doesn't improve as a cornerback, he was only a second-round pick. Obviously, he was their top pick in the 2016 draft, but teams have got rid of second-round picks earlier than this, so if he doesn't show big improvements next summer, he could actually be on his way out.